Subsonic cruise missiles are a type of cruise missile that travel at speeds below the speed of sound, typically around Mach 0.7 to Mach 0.9. Their main advantage lies in their ability to fly long distances while maintaining fuel efficiency. While they may be slower than supersonic missiles, their key strength is stealth. They fly at low altitudes, such as sea skimming or terrain following, making them difficult to detect by radar. And today, we will talk about two of these missile, India's Nirbay versus Turkey's Atmika, and compare them for the strength, capabilities, features and much more. So, let's start. The Nirbay missile, developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, is classified as a subsonic cruise missile. It's primary designed for land attack, and designed to target strategic enemy locations deep within hostile territory. The Nirbay missile was first tested in 2013 and has since undergone several successful trials, with induction into the Indian military following its development. On the other hand, the Atmika missile, developed by Rocketson, a leading defense contractor in Turkey, is an anti-ship cruise missile designed for naval engagements. Its purpose is to destroy enemy vessels. The Atmika missile was first tested in 2016 and has been fully operational and deployed within Turkey's navy since 2019. Now looking at the design and dimensions of the Nirbay and Atmika missiles, the Nirbay missile is larger, measuring about 6 meters in length, giving it the capacity to house a bigger propulsion system and warhead for long-range missions. It also has a diameter of 0.52 meters and weighs around 1,500 kilograms making it a substantial missile designed for strategic land attacks. On the other hand, the Atmika missile is more compact, with a length of 4.8 meters and a diameter of 0.35 meters, making it more streamlined for naval operations. It is also lighter, weighing approximately 800 kilograms, which makes it easier to launch from naval platforms like ships and reduces the load on those vessels. The smaller size of Atmika is ideal for targeting moving ships, whereas Nirbay's larger dimensions contribute to its ability to cover greater distances and carry a heavier warhead. When comparing the propulsion and performance-like range, speed and cruising altitude of both missiles, the Nirbay missile is powered by a turbofan engine, which is highly efficient for long-range missions. This engine allows Nirbay to achieve an impressive range of 1,000 to 1,500 kilometers, enabling it to strike deep into enemy territory. Nirbay operates at subsonic speeds, specifically between Mach 0.7 to Mach 0.9. Its cruising altitude is quite versatile, flying as low as 100 meters to avoid radar detection and terrain following capabilities, and it can reach altitudes of up to 4.5 kilometers depending on the mission requirement. In contrast, the Atmika missile is equipped with a turbojet engine, which provides the thrust needed for shorter, high-speed naval engagements. The Atmika has a maximum range of 220 kilometers, sufficient for targeting ships at sea. It also flies at subsonic speeds, reaching up to Mach 0.85. The Atmika missile employs sea skimming flight, maintaining a cruising altitude of less than 5 meters above the sea level, making it extremely difficult for enemy radar to detect. Thus, while Nirbay is for extended range, multi-platform use, Atmika focuses on quick, precise strikes at sea. When it comes to warhead type and capacity, both Nirbay and Atmika are designed to deliver significant damage to their targets. The Nirbay missile is equipped with a conventional warhead, meaning it carries explosives designed for non-nuclear attacks. Its warhead weighs between 200 to 300 kilograms, giving it enough destructive power to take out large military installations, bunkers, and other strategic targets. On the other hand, the Atmika missile carries a high-explosive warhead that weighs 250 kilograms. This warhead is specifically designed to penetrate and destroy heavily armored naval vessels, causing structural damage that can disable or sink enemy ships. The high-explosive nature of Atmika's warhead means it is focused on delivering maximum impact upon detonation. So while Nirbay's conventional warhead offers flexibility for both land and sea-based targets, Atmika's high-explosive warhead is fine-tuned for engaging and disabling enemy ships. The guidance systems and navigation accuracy of both the missiles play a crucial role in ensuring their precision in striking targets. The Nirbay missile uses a combination of advanced guidance technologies to achieve accurate targeting. 
It employs an inertial navigation system, which helps the missile navigate its flight path autonomously by using motion sensors and gyroscopes. This system is supported by GPS and Global Navigation Satellite System, providing global satellite navigation to enhance accuracy and correct any drift from the intended flight path. These systems work together to guide the missile precisely to its target, achieving navigation accuracy within 10 to 20 meters. This level of accuracy allows Nearbay to hit fixed targets, such as enemy infrastructure, with minimal deviation. The Atmica missile also features an advanced guidance system, but it includes a more specialized component for naval engagements, like Nearbay. It relies on INS and GPS for basic navigation. However, Atmica adds a radar homing system, which activates in the terminal phase of flight. This radar homing capability allows Atmica to lock onto moving ships, even in conditions where GPS might be jammed or unavailable. The radar actively seeks out the target and adjusts the missile's course for precise impact. Atmica boasts pinpoint accuracy, with the ability to strike within 5 to 10 meters of the target, making it highly effective against maneuvering naval vessels. Both missiles achieve excellent accuracy but are tailored to different combat environments. The launch platforms for the Nearbay and Atmica missiles provide insight into how these weapons can be deployed in different combat environments. The Nearbay missile is designed to be launched from multiple platforms, giving it a high degree of versatility. It can be deployed from land-based mobile launchers, which makes it ideal for quick, on-the-move strikes from various locations. Additionally, Nearbay can also be launched from aircraft, and there are plans to adapt Nearbay for ship-based submarine launches as well which would make it a true multi-platform missile capable of being launched from land, air, and sea. On the other hand, the Atmica missile is specifically designed for naval platforms. It is primarily launched from warships, such as frigates and corvettes. The missile is fired from vertical or inclined launch systems on these ships. Although Atmica is highly specialized for naval warfare, there is potential for its use on submarines in the future, which would further enhance its utility in underwater operations. Thus. While Nearbay offers flexibility with its ability to be launched from land, air, and potentially sea platforms, Atmica is specialized for naval warfare and is primarily deployed from ships. When comparing the cost, the Nearbay missile is reported to have a development cost of approximately $1.5 million per missile. The cost per missile may vary slightly depending on modifications or upgrades, but overall, Nearbay remains a cost-effective long-range strike option for India. On the other hand, the Atmica missile has an estimated cost of around $500,000 to $600,000 per unit. This makes Atmica more affordable compared to many other anti-ship missiles on the market. The Nearbay missile is currently operational meaning it has passed its development and testing phases and is available for use by the Indian military. The missile is in limited production but is expected to see broader production in the near future. Similarly, the Atmica missile is also operational and fully deployed with the Turkish Navy. It is now in active service on Turkish warships like frigates and corvettes, strengthening Turkey's maritime defense capabilities. In summary, both India's Nearbay and Turkey's Atmica missiles are powerful subsonic cruise missiles, each designed for specific roles. Nearbay offers long-range precision strikes, while Atmica on the other hand, excels in naval warfare with its sea-skimming ability and radar-guided accuracy. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.